Serving Southern New Mexico, this is the award-winning KRWG-TV News 22, where news matters. Welcome back. You're watching News 22 Wednesday, where news matters. A dog is a man's best friend, and for some, it can even be their lifesaver. Here at NMSU, there's a club to made, made to raise puppies till they're old enough to start formal training to become a guide dog. I took an up-close look on why the club is so important through a furry four-legged friend. Meet Shuttle, an eight-month-old puppy who'll do anything for treats. Eliza Voigt is his trainer. She's a senior at NMSU studying animal science, and her love of dogs is personal. And my dad was recently diagnosed with Parkinson's disease a couple of years ago, and um, we got him a dog, and she helped him a lot with like his symptoms and stuff like that. Unfortunately, she did pass away last year. So she decided to start a club called Raising Canines. She partnered with Guide Dogs for the Blind, which supplies puppies like Shuttle to raise until they're ready for formal guide dog training. Our job basically is to socialize them, get them used to being in public areas, um, get them used to basic basically any kind of situation that the blind person would come in contact with. In formal training, dogs literally become the trainer's eyes. They're taught intellectual disobedience. And so what that means is if the blind handler tells them forward and they see a car coming, they won't move. Good girl, very nice. Shuttle isn't the only puppy in the program. There's also Cece and Koi. Cece is being raised by club advisor, Dr. Gaylene Fasenko. They have to have the ultimate training because they are eventually going to be someone's eyes and they are going to have to learn to keep that person safe. Puppy raisers will continue their basic training and socialization before these puppies head back to California to start their formal training. Formal training is eight months long. It's tough and not all dogs pass. So of the puppies that we get, only 42% will make it all the way through. Eliza says she'll be sad when Shuttle goes to training, but she'll be proud and hopeful he'll make the grade and become someone's best friend and helper. Serving Southern New Mexico, this is the award-winning KRWG-TV News 22, where news matters.